Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of my tutorial park. In today's episode I'm going to show you how to make a rocking horse ride. Now you will find rides like this in quite a few parks. Uh, basically it's just a, a tracked ride where uh, guests ride on horses along a track pretty slowly and these horses will rock back and forth. Now in OpenRC2 we can actually uh, make the horses rock back and forth. At least we can make them do that on straight sections. So that's also what we're going to do. Okay, um, what you can see here is that I lowered a bit of land here and this is where I want to build the rocking horse ride. Now um, for the track layout, uh, you can of course just make it however you want. Um, I'm probably going to make the station somewhere over here, leaving room for a nice uh, queue. And then I'm just going to build a, a track in here. Um, I'll try to make it have uh, as uh, many straight uh, track pieces uh, as I can fit in in a nice way. Uh, so that the horses will actually rock back and forth. And then later in the episode we will just decorate this uh, entire area. Now um, to start off uh, I will use the steeplechase track. And yeah that's also the track that... Uh, uh, in the end, most of the uh, track will will use. The real ride also uh, uses track that uh, looks a bit like this. Now, um, usually um, these rides are a bit off the ground. Now, um, this height is probably a bit too much uh, for um, uh, yeah, for a ride like this. Normally, these vehicles are pretty close to the ground. Um, if you enable the cheat for uh, allowing the building track at uh, invalid heights, you could build it, uh, well this is probably the appropriate height for a ride if you look at the real ones. However, if you build at a, a, a half height like this, then um, yeah, it will be more tricky to connect the station and exit um, to your paths. So for that reason, to keep everything simple, um, I'm just going to disable this cheat again, allow building track and invalid heights, and we're just going to build at this height of the ground. Okay, I'm going to move the station a little bit inwards here because that will allow us to make a nicer queue. Okay, like so. Uh, I think the station can be uh, pretty long. This should be uh, this should be long enough. Okay, um, I will just uh, create a track layout that uh, travels uh, uh, in this area and I'll make it uh, go back and forth several times here. <laughs> Alright, the track layout is now completed. Now um, I tried to uh, incorporate some of these sections where the trains go along, or the horses go alongside each other in opposite direction. Um, yeah, that's just uh, what would uh, provide a little bit of interaction for this ride. You will see this often on real versions of these uh, horse rides. Now, um, with the current track layout, the horses would not rock back and forth yet. Uh, for that, we will have to replace these straight sections with something else. So for that, I'm going to go to cheats and allow the cheat for allowing arbitrary ride type changes. And I'll change the ride to a car ride. Okay, now you can see all these uh, straight uh, track pieces uh, are still there, while the big curves are now all uh, invisible. And wherever we see uh, these straight pieces, we will delete them. And um, actually, um, it looks like the car ride doesn't have these elements. Um, we'll have to change the ride to a monster truck ride. There we go. You can also use the car ride for this, but then you'll have to enable uh, enable all drawable track pieces. But yeah, now that we have changed to monster truck ride, you can see this uh, these log bumps and. That's what we are going to replace all these straight pieces with. Okay, um, we've now replaced all the straight track pieces with these log uh, bumps. And if we now change the ride type back to steeplechase, 
Uh, you can see all these straight beads are now invisible. So uh, on these spots, we'll probably just want to have some straight track. Now, uh, easiest way to do that is just to make a second steeplechase uh, uh, track. Like so. And I'm going to go open the tile inspector. And I will hold control and select this track piece. I will copy it and I will paste it in all the spots where um, yeah, these track pieces are now invisible. All right, all the gaps have now been filled in. So now I will paint this track in the same color that the original track has. All right, maybe now I have a steeplechase uh, track that looks like a full circuit. Now, um, if we, uh, well, the right now can only spawn one horse. And if we would uh, send it out right now, um, oops, let's take the other one. Uh, this is the correct right. This one can spawn a few more horses. Uh, but yeah, um, if I spawn the horses now, uh, they will not really get uh, very far. You see, it uh, makes it over the first few bumps here with the speed that it got from the station. But most likely, uh, somewhere along the track, uh, it will uh, get stuck. Let me quickly remove this track piece here. Okay, it's going to speed it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, one thing we uh, will definitely need to do uh, with these horses is, uh, is power them. No, oh, it's already slowing down a bit. Maybe it... Ah, look, there it, uh, there it already happened. Didn't make it over the bump here, and now all these horses uh, will get stuck. So uh, we'll need to power these horses. Now, um, the easiest way to do this, in my opinion, is to... Um, yeah, instead of horses as the ride type, we'll uh, go to cheats, and we'll this box for show vehicles from other track types and we'll also disable vehicle limits now here i will uh, look for sports cars now i uh, will have to set it to uh, one car per train now i uh, just uh, uh you'll have to guess how many horses you want on the ride i think uh we'll just go with 20 horses now uh, what's special about these uh, sports cars vehicles is that they actually spawn with an invisible vehicle before it and an invisible vehicle after it. And the invisible vehicle is powered. So if we spawn these cars here on the track and then with the right vehicle editor change these cars to horses, it will still be powered. So this invisible front vehicle will pull the horses forward through the track. So then we no, don't need any chain lift or any other uh, shenanigans. Okay, I'm just going to uh, um, test and immediately close the ride. So now all the vehicles have spawned. And then we're going to go in the uh, yeah in the map icon here. You can find the edit ride vehicles um, tab. That's if you have the ride vehicle editor plugin installed. Now uh, here we have a uh, steeplechase at one, it's already selected. Um, train two, uh, train one, vehicle one. Now vehicle one, as you can see here, is invisible. Um, then vehicle two is the variant zero, it's a sport car. And vehicle three, once again, is invisible. So we'll want the second vehicle, which you can actually see. I'm going to, uh, over here, select same vehicle number on all trains because we want to edit the car on all trains for synchronize and then for vehicle 2 we'll select horses okay and as you can see now uh, the middle vehicle of all these trains has been changed to a horse okay let's uh, quickly give them a different color might actually be better to change the color here all right, and now we can test the ride, and now these horses should make it through the track uh, without any issues. Just going to speed it up a little bit. Okay, um, if we look at the um, yeah, interval between horses, I think this is a good number of uh, horses on the track. 
as uh, yeah, there will always be at least one horse in the station. So guests probably won't have to wait for too long uh, to be able to board this ride. Now, if we look at the stats of the ride, well, yeah, the stats are pretty terrible. Um, of course, this is not a ride that's too uh, intense, so uh, we can probably keep the intensity rating low. But uh, yeah, it uses the stat calculation function for a steeplechase coaster, so it expects uh, some uh, uh, hills and some dips. And since we're not building it as a coaster, well, that's why it has terrible stats. Now, uh, I still want some guests to actually ride this ride. So I'm going to once again use the Ride Vehicle Editor plugin, select this ride, and we're going to freeze the rating calculation. And I'm just going to bump up some of the stats a little bit. So the excitement rating is going to make it a little bit higher. Intensity um, also a little bit higher, so uh, guests are a little bit more likely to ride it. And since these uh, horses are rocking back and forth all the time, I'm sure uh, some guests would actually be able to get nauseous uh, on this ride. So just going to bump up all these stats a little bit. All right, uh, now guests will actually be uh, a little bit more likely to actually ride it. Okay, I think we're now almost ready to uh, open the ride up for guests. Now, uh, to actually allow guests on the ride, of course, uh, we we'll still need to connect the entrance and the exit to the path here with, uh, with a nice queue and an exit path. So the guests can actually uh, enter and exit the ride. Now, um, I think I will just quickly uh, rotate these, this exit and this entrance. Uh, how you do the queue and the exit path is of course completely up to you. Now um, I like to use normal paths for the queues, so there's also a cheat for that. I allow using regular paths as queues. And I also enable allow special color schemes. Not really needed now, but it might be useful uh, later if I want to paint something in the invisible color. Anyway, um, now I can use this uh, regular path as a queue. So I'm just going to... Uh, make a little bridge here i will uh probably put some water under here later uh, i'm not really sure what i'm going to uh, do here yet but i want to make this uh, queue look uh, look nice okay now that we have a queue we can uh, open up this ride for guests and uh, we should see some guests uh, heading for this ride uh, soon enough now um we, the ride uh, obviously also needs a nice station building. I think I'm just going to uh, raise the ground under it a little bit. Okay, uh, I'm just going to make a simple building which uh, sort of looks like a barn. I'm just going to uh, um, use lots of these uh, mine theme wooden walls in some different colors. Also put lots of these windows. And together, um, I'm gonna try and make something uh, that looks nice here. Okay, uh, I made a simple rectangular building around this ride and uh, for these doors or these gates I put some of these poles next to it just to make these uh, walls look a little bit less uh, thin. Now for the roof I used a combination of these uh, jungle walls or these jungle roofs I should say and then on top I uh, put uh, these glass uh, roofs and then if you go in tile inspector and reorder them and this gives a really nice uh, texture and this allows you to make some nice roofs in uh, any color that uh, that you want. All right, now that the uh, ride is functional, uh, we still have to make it look pretty. Now, uh, these rides of themselves aren't very exciting, so uh, we'll need to have lots of stuff for the guests uh, to see as they are riding this ride. Now, uh, I will just uh, put lots of scenery right next to the track. Uh, I will also do a little bit of landscaping. We can probably add some water in between, maybe with a fountain. Maybe some little hills in between with more foliage, some fences around. And when you do that for the entire track, it's really easy to make these rides and look beautiful.
Okay, the horse ride is now fully decorated. Now I decided to not show all of the decorating phase as it is pretty much dependent on what the theme for this ride is that uh, yeah, that you use in your park. So for example, over here, um, I decided to do a, have several themes for this ride. So uh, first uh, there's this uh, little mining village which the horses pass by and later there's this uh, western style village. Also I put one of these uh, water towers here uh, in the middle. It's one of uh, it's an object from uh, one of the expansions. I thought it would fit here pretty nicely. Now over here is uh, um, yes, as we have a wild west village. Uh, close to that we also have a camp for uh, um, Native Americans or uh, Indians as they used to be called. And then over here finally there's a little pirate village uh, as well. So I put this little skull here on top with some bones, a little waterfall, uh, some taverns. And uh, yeah, I think uh, together uh, this uh, um, this makes it so that there's enough uh, for the guests to see while they're uh, riding this ride. Now, uh, while I was decorating, also I recolored the saddles of all these uh, horses. And I also made sure that there were a little bit more horses on the track. Because, uh, yeah, the guests were complaining uh, that the queues were a bit, took a bit too long. Okay, this ride is around 4 minutes long. That's probably around the maximum that uh, you should uh, make one of these rides. If you make it much longer, the guests will probably uh, complain that they want to get off the ride. I think this is a good length uh, for the ride as well. And uh, yeah, it fits a nice uh, large area here. Now, um, I think these uh, rides will look great in almost any park. And since they are so easy to make, I'm uh, pretty sure uh, you could fit one uh, into a park you're making as well. Okay, our horse ride is now completed. So to finish off this video, I'm going to add two more of my patrons to the park as an entertainer. Okay, I've added two entertainers to the park, one here on top of this bank and another one on top of this uh, canyon rock. So I'll start with this one and I'll name this bandit Circle FH. Thank you so much Circle FH for supporting me on Patreon. Truly appreciate it and you will now forever have a little spot here in the park. And we also have a sheriff here on top of this rock and he will be named our Nate. Thank you so much for the support and once again hope you enjoy your spot here in the park. Okay that concludes my tutorial on how to make one of these rocking horse rides. Um, I think they will fit great in any park that still needs a family ride. Alright that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial or if it was useful for you please like this video. It would really help out my channel. I would love to hear in the comments what you think of this tutorial and if you want to see more of these you can always subscribe to my channel all right that's going to be it hope you enjoyed it i'll see you again in the next video see you later